The archaeological mission of the Faculty of Arts at Alexandria University recently discovered the bow of a sunken ship near the Red Sea island of Sedana, with 1,606 artefacts still on board. With other parts of the ship having been uncovered there in earlier excavation work in 1994. The sunken ship is a merchant vessel dating back to the mid 18th century. It carried thousands of artefacts, including porcelain, pottery of various shapes and sizes, in addition to various grains. Studies have revealed that the ship likely collided with coral reefs in the area when it sailed from Southeast Asia back to Egypt. Ehab Fami, head of the Supreme Council of Antiquities Department of Underwater Antiquities, told Egyptian news agencies that the archaeological mission of the Faculty of Arts at Alexandria University found the middle part of the sunken ship with hundreds of artefacts still on board, possibly thousands. And he goes on to say that some 1,606 artefacts were found and extracted from the ship found in the Red Sea, dating back to the mid-18th century during the Ottoman era. And the finds will be showcased in the Maritime Museum in Alexandria after the restoration. The Egyptologist Bassam al Shama said that because Egypt is on a major historical trade route, the Maritime Museum in Alexandria is home to a number of artefacts including plates, utensils and ceramics. The museum will keep and display these artefacts in salt water to protect them. Shema goes on to say that the sunken ship was discovered due to the great effort of the archaeological mission and its difficult underwater excavation work. The state of Egypt must make a complete survey of the Nile River, especially from Aswan to Luxor, where the pharaohs had transported many monuments and those sunken artefacts are likely to be found in this location. Mohammed Hamza, the former dean of the Antiquities Faculty at Cairo University, said that when the ship sunk, Egypt played a major role in world trade due to its strategic location on the Red Sea, the Mediterranean and the River Nile. The discovery of the ship and its cargo, which included Chinese porcelain, proves that the ship was coming from the South East Asia, specifically from China. Hamza continued, The abundance of coral reefs in the Red Sea may have caused the ship to sink, as coral reefs were the main reasons behind such incidents. The remains of more remains of Egyptian or Peninsular ports dating back to the Islamic, Ptolemaic and Roman eras may still be found here in the Red Sea. Egypt has had strong commercial ties with China all throughout history, and the two countries have constantly exchanged ambassadors and gifts, including during the Mamluk period. After the ship's cargo is analysed, more details about the nature of this relationship will be revealed. But what do you guys think about the possibility of ancient artefacts sitting at the bottom of the Red Sea in their many thousands? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.